Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and today we're going to be going through our 2021 Cimarron North Star 2 Plus 1. So for those of you that aren't familiar with TransWest, we are located about 30 minutes north of Denver off of I-25. Really convenient to get to us and we've got a lot of inventory here. So today we're going to be going through this trailer and I've done one video on a sold unit that we had um, a little while back and um, this trailer is set up very similarly to that. This is my favorite trailer. I will sell this one time and time again because I think it is set up to be so usable, so interchangeable and it's a really, really great high quality trailer. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Cimarron trailers, they are an all aluminum trailer um, built in Oklahoma and they are top of the line. Um, I pull a simmer on myself, so I'm, I'm a huge fan. I know the quality, I know how they pull, and I feel very safe putting my horse in one. So this trailer right here, we've done a lot of things to make your life a lot easier. Um, so for those of you that are tired of hand cranking your trailers, we did put an electric over hydraulic jack on this one. So at the touch of a button, It'll go up and down very easily. This trailer is 24 feet, six inches on the floor. So it's a big trailer to have to crank up and down. Um, even though it's a little bit lighter since it is a Cimarron, it's still so much easier just to press that button. So on this trailer, we've kind of done all the bells and whistles on it. Um, if you'll come under here, you'll notice that we have put an air ride system on this trailer. So we've got two 7,000 pound Dexter Airflex axles under this one. Um, so for those of you that aren't familiar with air ride, air ride is basically your trailer is ri riding on, on inflated airbags. It's going to really smooth out the ride for your horses. It's going to make your truck pull a lot better. Um, and it's going to be better for your trailer. We've done a really extensive video on air ride um, with our GM here. He's been kind of in the air ride and trailer systems um, since the very beginning. So for those of you that want a little more information on our air ride systems, um, that video we will link on this one uh, so you can get a little bit more in-depth knowledge on how these systems operate. But they're super simple to use. Um, it's just a, you turn it on, um, you've got a raise and a lower um, position on this trailer. When you're going down the road, you want to make sure the system is aired up and that it is in, in the raised position. And I've already raised this trailer. You'll notice that you've got uh, over two inches more clearance um, as opposed to just a straightforward rubber torsion. Um, and that, number one, if you're going down rocky rough roads, that's going to help you a lot having a little extra clearance. But Riding on air, those horses are going to be so much more comfortable. And at the end of the day, that's why we buy these trailers. We want the horses to be comfortable and have a really safe ride. So right back here, um, we do have an onboard battery. So that helps us operate the air ride system as well as the hydraulic jack. And another fancy feature of this is that if you use your trailer as a tack room like I do, um, you can operate your lights when you're not hooked on. So. We did put a battery disconnect switch on this trailer and that's just so that if you're at a show um, and you are not hooked up to your truck and you leave a light on or something like that, um, when you go to leave your trailer, if you forget to turn anything off, you can just switch this battery disconnect um, to red and that'll make sure that no power is getting to your trailer so that when you go to operate your air ride system or, or manipulate your jack, it's not going to be dead when you get there and you don't have to wait for it to charge back up. So that's a feature we put on all of our trailers with batteries. Just it's a nice little safety feature so that you don't have to hand pump these jacks. All right. So this trailer um, is, is really well set up for somebody that is going to be either um, hauling really, really big horses or they, they want a lot of extra storage in front or they want their horses to be really comfortable and have a lot of room to move around on those longer rides. So we've made this one 7'7 seven, seven tall. So for those of you that have warm bloods, um, this is a trailer I definitely recommend looking at. 
Um, it's going to give them more headroom. They're going to feel a lot more comfortable and they're going to be more likely to want to go back in and out of your trailer um, because they won't get claustrophobic in there. In this tack room right here, we have a brush box. Every Cimarron comes with a little user's manual. Um, for those of you that aren't very familiar with pulling trailers, uh, we do a very um, extensive process when, we, when you, we hook you up. We make sure you're really comfortable before you leave here. But if you do have any last minute questions and you want to just flip through this to get a little more comfortable, there's a lot of just really great knowledge in here. And these breast boxes are designed to drain. So if you put, if you put liquids in there and they spill or tip over while you're driving, um, you can just rinse it off at the end of the day without having to really work too hard to get that clean. So in this tack room, we did upgrade all of the lights on this trailer for the interior lights to the OptiBright lights. They are LED, so they use less energy. They're very bright at night. We've had this, this setup of trailer down at Stock Show, and at night it's just like daylight in here. So it's going to be really easy for you if you're using your trailer when it's dark out, um, tacking up or anything like that, you're going to have no issues getting around. Up in the nose, since this trailer is 7'7 seven, seven tall, you'll notice we have quite a bit of head clearance up here. So if you did want to throw a mattress up here, um, it'd be very easy for you to take a nap at a show or sleep overnight camping. Um, you do have those two windows up front. Um, you can get a nice cross breeze going through, so you can be very comfortable up here. And then down here, we have two, a boot box that runs across the length of this. It's a 12 inch boot box. You've got plenty of room for storage and it makes it so much easier to get up and down into the nose of this trailer. Um, on certain trailers, we'll just have that little fold down step, but this is so much more stable and you have a nice place to sit down if you need a break after a show. So right here, um, we did go with the recessed saddle post on this trailer. Um, the great thing about this is they are completely um, movable so that if you do have um, maybe some smaller saddles, you can move these posts a little closer together. Um, you, can, you can change it to where it's uh, blanket bar, saddle post, and so on and so forth. Or if you needed more room in this trailer and you're not using these, like if you've just used a show box or something like that, um, you can actually take these completely out. They just, you just loosen these bolts and slide them up and you can pull all those out and put them in storage and then your trunk can go right here against this wall here and you'll have plenty of room. So on this wall, um, we did do the carpeting behind it. Um, it just keeps it a little quieter, a little more of a finished look. And then under where your bridles hang, if you guys have ever seen an aluminum trailer that does not have carpeting behind the bridle hooks, those bits as you go down the road will swing back and forth and they'll mark up your trailer and it just makes this look a lot cleaner, it keeps your tack a lot nicer. Um, so we always put carpeting behind our bridle hooks on our Cimarrons. So this is a really great feature too. A lot of you might only be hauling two horses. So this is number one, a great place for extra storage. So we've done a walkthrough door here to make it really easy to get in and out. If you're using this more as more of a mudroom, um, when you're at a show, it's really convenient. You don't have to go through other doors to get in and out and grab your stuff. Um, you can just bring them right through this way. So since this is a two plus one, we've got the setup where there is a rear ramp on the end of this trailer. And then you've also got this side ramp. So one of the things I love about the two plus one is there's a really great flow for getting your horses on and off these trailers. If you don't want to have to worry about backing them off, you can simply walk your horses on, and then when you're done, done trailering, you just walk them right off the side ramp. So you've got plenty of room to turn here. It makes it really easy for those horses um, to just have a nice flow. The great thing about this trailer is that this one actually makes in to two independent box stalls. So we've got the stud, stud gates here up front. So if you are using this as storage and you're hauling hay bales or anything like that, they're not going to slide right back into your horses um, as you're going down the road. You're not going to have to worry about all your stuff um, getting up under their feet. 
You can also use this as a box stall. So you've got plenty of room for those horses um, to maneuver around and be really comfortable as you drive. So one of the recent additions we've done on this trailer um, over, over the ones that we've built in the past is we did put a tie ring up here. That way if you do want to tie that first horse up in here, um, that is easy for you to do. The great thing about having our shop here is we have skilled technicians that if you do have some things you want to add on to this trailer, they're completely capable. They do a great job at retrofitting these trailers so they're exactly how you want them. So right here, we do have an escape door. So if you're, if you're just going down the road and need to grab something really quickly, you need to check on a horse to throw him some hay. This escape door is really easy without having to put the ramp all the way down. Um, so we always, we always outfit it with a, an escape door on these two plus ones. We do have a, a heavy duty chest bar here. One of the things I love about the Cimarrons, and I'll show you guys in a second, we've got a cutout over there of kind of the structure of the Cimarrons. Um, but one of my favorite features of these is the roofs. So we live in hail country. Um, and on a normal aluminum sheeted roof, that would do some serious damage, so I do not recommend doing that. Um, but on these Cimarrons, we have fiber tech roofs that are, um, have, a honeycomb, have a honeycomb core. It's a polypropylene honeycomb core. And what that does is it, it provides a lot of sound deafening, so it's going to be a quieter ride for your horses. As you can see, it's incredibly strong. If this trailer had a, ha, had a ladder, I would probably crawl up there and jump up and down to show you guys how strong this roof is. Um, it's also got a gel coat finish, so um, that's going to help with some of the UV degradation on this trailer. And it's a single pour, so you're not going to have issues with water getting in between seams on this trailer. Um, and then, as I'll show you on that little, little cutout over there, we use a dowel Corning 791 seat roof sealant on this trailer. It's a little more expensive than what a lot of trailer companies use, um, but we found that Cimarron has found that it lasts a lot longer because it stays pliable as it ages. Um, so you're going to have to, we recommend checking your roof seals once a year, um, but you're not going to have the issues where it's dry, where it's cracking and dry rotting like you will on a lot of other sealants. So, this roof is a super great thing to have on these Cimarrons. It also keeps it quite a bit cooler. Um, it's not a super hot day in Colorado, but it's more comfortable in here than it is out there. Uh, it's got an R3 thermal value. So on a hot day, I can, if I could reach it, I could put my hand up on that roof and I'm not gonna have to pull it re away right away. On an aluminum sheeted roof, you're gonna burn yourself if you do that. So just imagine you've got big horses. There's a lot of heat that comes off of on those aluminum sheeted roofs. So having these FiberTech roofs is a huge bonus for these Cimarrons. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and walk around here. So on each side of these Cimarrons, we've done a drop down window. Um, and then we've also got the drop down in the escape door. And these, these drop downs are not flimsy piano hinges. Um, they suck back really well. You've got the feed door, or you've got the jail bars that you can drop down. We do have some feed bags in this trailer. So if you're traveling down the road, you wanna throw them some more hay. It's a really convenient way to get, it, get to your horses. They're also really strong. So our Cimarron's, um, they have over six inches of framing that you can't see on these drop down windows. Um, it gives you a lot of strength. And if you know anything about windows, is there the drop downs, they can be really expensive to replace. So going with something that's high quality and meant to last, even though it's a little more expensive now, sometimes will save you a ton of money in the long run because it's gonna hold up. So as you'll see, We've got quite a bit of clearance. I've got this aired up right now. If I were to drop the air down, um, you would sink down about a little over two inches on this trailer. All of our Cimarron's come standard with an aluminum wheel. Um, it just makes for a cleaner look. You're not gonna get that rusting that you will on the older steel wheels. And then this little green tab here, all of our Cimarron's are filled with nitrogen. 
Um, so what that's going to do is that's going to help stabilize the PSI. In Colorado, we have a lot of hot and cold swings in our temperatures. So nitrogen doesn't expand quite as, as quickly as, as oxygen does. Um, so going with this will help stabilize it so your tires won't get so hot and run and you can get blowouts that way. Our Cimarron tires also come with a lion's head warranty. So it's a one year, no questions asked. You get a blowout, take a photo of it. Um, it's, if it's unrepairable, they'll send you a new tire. And then two year roadside assistance. So along with our Cimarron's three year hitch to bumper warranty and an eight year structural, you're also getting really great warranties on the tires as well. So as we work our way around, You'll notice there's some running board here. Um, on, our, on our two plus ones, uh, they are 610 wide, so you do have some running board here so that it is easy to get up and down into the, into the trailer, open windows, check on horses. And you'll notice Cimarron does a really great job of making sure that their trailers are really horse safe. So any edges, they try and make sure everything has a radius so that your horses, if, they're, if they bump into something, they're not gonna cut themselves up. There's a lot of reasons that the Cimarrons are the price point that they are, and they are so worth it because they're gonna be one of the safest trailers for your horses to use. Right down low here, we do have our lights. So you've got um, the ability to change your lights on the interior and exterior. As I mentioned earlier, um, we did do the Optibrites in the stall area as well, make it really, really bright. One of the things we usually recommend is when you're, when you're using an air ride trailer, trailer, when you're loading, sometimes it's nice to keep those, those airbags in the lowered position just because it makes it less of a steep incline for your horses to get in and out. Since this one has a ramp, it's not quite as big of a deal, but the ones without ramps, that can be quite, quite a big jump for those horses to get in and out. So on this trailer, we did upgrade it with bolster pads on the butt and chest bars. So if your horses are going down the road, they're gonna be really comfortable. They rock back and forth on those. There is a little lock on this one um, so that your horses will um, be able to get in and out. I'll get that in a second. Um, we've got chest bars, or chest pads, sorry. We've got divider pads on this one, so as they rock back and forth, they're gonna be really comfortable as well. And then the, the feed bags that we also put on this one. And I'm gonna show you my favorite feature about this trailer, and the reason we sell this one time and time again. So this is a head divider, so if you do need to swing it back and forth, you can. I should probably undo my, my feed bags, make my life a little easier. Perfect. So one of the things I love about this trailer, I mentioned that this one easily converts into two box stalls. So on most of our two plus ones, You'll notice that we have um, a center divider that needs to be taken out. It usually takes one or two people, or two strong people to get them in and out. And then you have to store it somewhere. So one of the great things about this trailer is we've got a traveling gate. So similar to some of our cattle trailers, like our show trailers, these, cattle, these traveling gates we've put in on this one. And there's kind of five points of attachment that you need to pull up on. Five little locking points. And then the easiest thing to do is just kind of get centered on this. Oops, I need to get this one all the way down. Kind of get centered on this and then it just slides right over. And then we have locks down here and they just you just lock everything back into place. Now, if we had the other system where you have to take off the dividers, you know, as you're going down the road, if you are 
changing your situation. Maybe you were hauling three horses, but on the way home you're just hauling two. Um, you have to find somewhere to store that extra divider. This makes it super easy so that on the way home, that, that second horse can have a big box stall just like that first one. And it's super easy to do. I'm not a strong person. Um, they use me as an example in a lot of videos for, for the ease of use of things. Um, and that is something that is just so easy to put to the side. If you have a golf cart or something like that that you travel with, it's really easy to just load up your golf cart. You can stick it in the first stall if you want. Um, close this off and then you can load your horses so it makes it really easy and great and interchangeable if if you've got a spouse that likes to ride side by sides and motorcycles you can market this as a toy hauler as well so it's multi-purpose um, and it can it can suit a lot of needs so this is this is one of the reasons that we have ha sold this trailer time and time again um, it's very rare for us to get this one in and have it sit on the lot very long. Um, the last one that came in actually sold before it e was even finished building. So they really rushed to get this one out because they know it's a popular seller. Um, and we really moved that timeline around so that you could benefit from it. So I mentioned earlier, we've got a little cutout that I wanted to show you. Um, this is how the structure of every Cimarron is built. Um, so up here, this is that roof I was showing you earlier. It's got the polypropylene core. It's a honeycomb core. Um, the gel coat finish. The Dow Corning 791 roof sealant. And so as you'll notice, this, this has been our display for a while and it's still very pliable, flexible. Um, it's gonna be really nice going down the road. And this keeps it quite a bit quieter, as you'll notice. And then you've got your upright posts. So on our Cimarron's, we use a two inch by one and three eighths inch upright post. It's about 40% stiffer than the, the more commonly used two and a half inch by one inch tubing. And it's also 60% stronger than a C channel or a hat channel. So even though it's smaller, it's a lot stronger. So you're saving weight by also adding strength. So that's a really great feature of these upright posts. On our Cimarron's, you've got the side extrusions. So on a lot of trailers, you'll see just a corrugated side. You get the look, but this actually adds a lot of strength. See how um, these are pushed out and you have, you have air able to move throughout these channels. So that's exactly how it's set up on this. And by doing these extrusions, you are adding incredible amount of strength to your trailer while also saving on weight. And then right down here, We've got our floor system. So our Cimarron's are a tongue and groove floor system. You've got four inch centers with the, with the center V truss. These are incredibly strong floors. You'll notice that as you walk on older Cimarron's, you don't feel the, the sagging and bowing where your horses have been standing like you do on some other trailer models with just the single sheeted aluminum. Even if you use the strongest gauge of aluminum on these floors, um, that weight of the horses standing there over time will start to sag and that's when you notice that urine will start to pool and if you know anything about aluminum trailers urine and aluminum do not mix it's when you get a lot of pitting and corrosion so by having this really really strong floor system it just helps with the life the longevity of your of your trailer so there's a lot of reasons that our Cimarron's are one of the best in the business um, we sell these over and over again. I love selling Cimarron's because I know the quality. I pull one myself. And this setup is one of my favorite setups just because it's so interchangeable. It's incredibly easy to pull. Um, it's wonderful to pull because of that air ride system. So if you guys have any questions on this trailer or any other trailer um, on this lot, you can give me a call. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. If you need a reference of which trailer we went over today, it is a 2021 Cimarron North Star 2 plus 1, and the stock number is 5N200-538. Thanks for tuning in.